Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, my uh, title is uh, a little intimidating, but I'll save it for the end, and I'll really talk about the setup that gets us there. So as uh, mathematicians, we're obviously all in the business of uh, abstracting things. We want to boil down uh, the objects that we're looking at to their essential sort of mathematical uh, properties, and then we can uh, work with them. So we'll start from uh, you know, the most uh, concrete things on the left side of my top picture here, and we abstract as we go over to the, the, the right. So uh, obviously, and you know, as we're uh, starting to uh, understand the world, we learn how to count objects, and that leads us to the notion of an abstract number. So you know, we might count uh, three soothers as a child or three blankets, but you know, the number three is something that really we can apply to anything, not, uh, not specific objects. So we have abstracted by the time we've gone from counting soothers to, to just abstract numbers. And then uh, as we get into school, we learn how to take numbers and abstract those again. So we get away from actual numbers, we replace things with variables, and that leads us to the study of what we call algebra. And of course, algebra gets uh, more and more complicated the, the further you go, but uh, you know, we've, we've taken the very concrete thing of counting objects, and we've taken it to working with variables and uh, creating structures from those, we've gotten to algebra. Uh, and then on the uh, bottom row of my picture, we start with uh, understanding the spatial relationships in our own 3D universe as we, as we grow up. And that leads us to uh, abstracting things to study geometry. So we take objects and we sort of reduce them to points. We take paths, things take, and we reduce them to curves. So um, we take our physical objects and we sort of abstract them down to these very uh, atomic little geometric things. And then uh, topology is an abstraction of geometry. So when we get to um, studying topology, we're interested in the properties that objects have sort of regardless of uh, what shape they might actually manifest if we could turn one into another without ripping it apart or uh, punching holes in it, we call those objects really the same thing. So two donuts glued together is the same as a pair of pants uh, in topology. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so again, we've abstracted sort of from our spatial relationships into uh, the geometry and then we uh, abstract into topology by the end here. Now the intersection or sort of where these two subjects play together is a subject naturally called algebraic topology. And so, my thesis uh, lives in that space. So in algebraic topology, we take what we know about algebra and we use it to study geometry in a sense, or the abstract of geometry called topology. And so we use the machinery of algebra to understand uh, topological properties. And um, in the case that my thesis looked at, there was a certain class of topological objects where the algebra of how it adds and subtracts was known for a long time, but the algebra of how it uh, multiplies has been more mysterious. My thesis explained how the multiplication works in this special case of these topological objects, which are named cohomology rings of a finite abelian group. Thank you very much.